So it seems like the live stream is working. Just did a water change. My hand smells like salt, but um, yeah, just finished doing a water change here with the tank. Actually, when I change the camera over, it's actually a lot better. There we go. So it's still a little bit hazy, but clearing up. Um, you can see right on the water change, I moved this guy, the um, frog spawn, because I noticed, I noticed in certain locations up here was an opening. Um, I wonder what side it was. I think it was actually right here where it was an opening, right there. And I kind of translated that to it getting too much light. You can see that's like even a hot spot here in my tank. Um, just that rock and the lighting, it, it gets very bright right there. Um, so I was taking it as it didn't like the, uh, look at this guy. So yeah, I took it as it not liking the light. I'm not sure if I put it in the right place though because I do see a lot of flow here. Um, but we'll lake it, or we'll lake it. <laughs> we'll let it sit there for a few days, see if, how it acclimates and see how it opens. Um, all of my other corals seem to like their location. I'm not having a good feeling about this guy here, um, this flower pot. It's actually one of my favorite corals. Um, between this guy, I really like that one there, the um, hammer and the torch, or sorry, and the frog right there. But yeah, it, this one seemed, it started with a small dead spot and it's getting bigger. You can see there, and I kind of, I think I can see it happening here. So maybe this will be the first coral I lose. Um, I'm really hoping I don't lose it because I really like it. But you know, if you do lose it, oh well, um, nothing I can do about it. And all that it's going to mean is more real estate is going to open up for a few more corals. Um, we really seem to be getting a um, a oh what what is it called the the bloom uh, the algae bloom um, what's the name of it diatom. I seem to be seeing a lot more diatoms coming in. Um, I don't know. If, yeah, actually, the camera can pick them up. It's all those brown spots you can see there. More here. So, getting diatoms there. Um, I'm getting. You can even see the algae build up here on the bottom portion. I just scrubbed this top part, but you can see the bottom portion has algae uh, build up there. You can see here on the bottom. There's um, again diatoms uh, building up on the bottom. The whole rear of the the rear of it also it's kind of hard to pick up with the camera but we have uh, diatoms um, or some sort of algae there and then bringing it over to this side we have a patch here it's crazy how the camera actually does pick that up um, we have a patch here a patch there and a patch here kind of going all through there and right there um, luckily the scape, I made it where I actually re redid the scape, um, I think a week ago and I, I didn't completely redo it. I did a few changes to it. One of the changes was this rock here. I pushed it back further so I can scoot this whole structure forward and doesn't run into my glass. Um, this one was completely redone. If you guys have seen my video, the only thing that was left from this scape was all this part here. This front part, this left part, and right part were all redone. Oh, including this one here. Um, and just again, that was because I wanted to it to be easier to clean. So my handle, there's about a three fingers, or at least three of my fingers worth of space back there, so I can easily get back there. Um, not only clean it, but keeps a better flow around the tank. Um, you see one of the clowns here have a little cave here on the bottom of them. Um, I have my sun corals here. 
these guys are just beautiful at night. Um, when everything is shutting down, they're waking up, and it's just, they're beautiful to look at. Um, everything in my tank has actually, from what I can see, been thriving. Maybe not thriving yet. I wouldn't call it thriving, so take that back, but it seems really happy. Um, that rock there isn't glued in. It's just kind of there, so I can remove that later down the road. Um, kind of a way of cycling it, I guess. Uh, putting that but I don't know I may leave it there um, I may remove it because I, I kind of do like the look when it's not there it looks very open um, also a good thing if I do remove that and let's say I do add well I will add a anemone the anemone at least from what I think won't be able to cross from this rock structure to this one so that'll let me isolate it at least to a rock um, but I don't know and then you have the my beautiful um, uh, Da Vinci here. This is Extreme Da Vinci, and that's his pal right here. He's a grade uh, grade A Da Vinci. And the only difference is the black line doesn't connect on him. Where on this guy though, black bars connect to the tail. And then you have Extreme Picasso's um, there. But yeah, just did a water change, and everything seems happy. So. Yeah, I'm testing out this live stream. It's crazy how my face looks with this blue lighting. Um, but testing out this live stream, I'm probably going to lift this video up um, just for you guys to watch. Um, but like I said, I'm just testing out the live stream. Um, hopefully as I get more subscribers, we'll be able to make this a little bit more entertaining, more people joining in. Um, but yeah, for you guys that aren't following me on Instagram, it's uh, eat... Uh, eat underscore sleep underscore reef underscore i believe uh, so there's three underscores in between eat sleep reef or eat and sleep uh be sure to follow me there i'm gonna go do a, a live streaming right after this here so follow me there i do have a update plan for tomorrow um so stay tuned for that guys tomorrow being sunday today's saturday and yeah this is this kind of how i hang out just sit in my chair here and enjoy the tank so see you guys till next time